Okay, in this problem we're asked to show that there are no points satisfying our constraint g of g of uh, p equals c and the gradient where the gradient vector of g is equal to zero. And then after we've done so, we can use Lagrange multipliers to find the critical points of f subject to our constraint g. So we're given that f is the function of f of x y equals 3x squared plus 2y squared, and our constraint is g of x equals x minus y, and we're on the level set where g is equal to 30. Okay, so first we want to show that um, for any point that satisfies our constraint, the gradient vector at that point is not equal to zero. So we'll take the gradient vector of g, G is x minus y, so our gradient vector is 1, negative 1, which is never going to be equal to 0. So that means for any point that satisfies our constraint, the gradient vector is going to be non-zero. So that shows our first part. And now we're going to use Lagrange multipliers to find the critical points of our function f subject to our constraint. So what Lagrange multipliers tell us is that the gradient vector of f is equal to some um, constant lambda times our gradient vector g of x, y, and for those points, which it satisfies and which satisfy our constraint, we have a critical point. So we'll take the gradient vector of f which is 6x four y comma four y and we'll set that equal to lambda times our gradient vector for g. And so we want to satisfy that, and x minus y equal to 30. So first we can create two equations. Six x is equal to lambda, and four y is equal to negative lambda by setting the components equal to each other. And we can just add these two equations together. So we get six x plus four y is equal to zero. And now we can use our constraint. We'll solve for x. We see that x is equal to 30 plus y. And we can go ahead and plug into our second equation. So we get 30. So plugging in x as 30 plus y, 6 times that is 180 plus 6y. And then we add our 4y from the equation, and we set that equal to zero. So we have ten y is equal to negative one hundred and eighty, and y is equal to negative eighteen. We can plug this into our constraint to get what our x value is. and we see that x is equal to 12. So we can also double check that, um, well we know that our lambdas will be satisfied, but if we plug in 6 times x, 6 times 12 is 72, and 4 times y is equal to and 4 times negative 18, which is negative 72, so we have lambda is equal to 72. So we found a point 
x equals 12, y equals negative 18, which satisfies our equation for the gradient vector of f equal to lambda times the gradient vector of g, and it also satisfies our constraint equation, x minus y is equal to 30. So we know that we have a critical point at 12, negative 18. And looking at our equation for f, we see that x squared, x is squared and y is squared. So um, clearly we could have y be arbitrarily large, or clearly we're going to be getting a minimum. So we expect that x equals 12 and y equals negative 18 to be a minimum. And we see that when we plug in x is equal to 12 and y is equal to negative 18, we get f is equal to 1080, which happens to be our minimum in this case. So we satisfied, or we showed that for all points that satisfy our constraint, the gradient vector at that point is non-zero. And then we use Lagrange multipliers to show that there exists a critical point at x equals 12, y equals negative 18.